Okay, um, I'm going to do a low level, couple of low level finishes for a double leg. So many times we go for a double leg and your opponent spools out on you and you end up <coughs> on the mat, face planting, or hit on top of me. So let's imagine we've done this from standing just because the camera shot won't catch me. So I've shot from standing. Oh man, you spooled out on me. Oh, I'm in a world of crap. Okay, in this situation, I've still got hold of his legs. Let's say I've just got one leg here, mainly. Okay, I need to keep hold of that leg and pull myself in as much as I can. If I can get hold of both legs, so much the better. Okay, now my head is on the outside of his hip. So I'm going to essentially do what we do if you're standing up and you're going to pull his legs under your head. Uh, standing up is more head pressure and blocking the far knee. On the ground, it's a little bit more explosive. Uh, or you can circle round. So here, the powerful version is where I kind of lift him and swing these legs under. So I get my knee right in and off. Yeah, straight into a low level double. I'm keeping hold of his legs, driving my weight through him before I go for side control. That's the sort of power version, it's tempting to do that kind of boom. But if you're not as strong as him or you're knackered, you're never going to get that. So, the technical version, okay, I'm going to circle this way. So this hand is doing what it would do standing up, just blocking this leg. And I'm going to push him with my head and circle, 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 circle. There we go. And this ferries his legs past, so I come to side mount, or I can put the shoulder through here. And that's your low-level double leg with the flare finish. Okay, the other, the other option is if he stops me circling. Let's say he blocks me or grabs my far ankle. Okay, so I'm here, and he's, he's, you can't really see it here, but he's grabbing my ankle. Okay, so I can't go this way and hold my ankle. Okay, now my, my shoulder is going to push in his other hip, and I'm going to circle that way. This way, and I'm going to block this and really hit him with my shoulder and sit down here. And immediately, I'm gonna come and put my head on top. Now this is a slightly more risky version because you can see, if we're not playing a game just for the pin, there's a possibility he could perhaps take my back. So if we're gonna do this, the moment we set him on his hip, we've gotta get our shoulder on top of him. If we're just playing a pin game, great, I've got him on his hip, okay, wonderful. But we're gonna to have to set him on his hip and get our head on top of him for safety. So, one more time. So here, he blocks. Okay, I can't go this way. So I'm gonna circle this way. Here, head on top, continue the pressure through to the side control. So that's your low level double leg and your low level flare. Uh, low level flare is what you need. Oh, sorry, the low level, low level flare is the pulling the legs under the head. This is a low level run the pipe which is a little bit more risky on a low level. There is a third option, um, which I tend to do instead of running the pipe, it's a bit more foolproof, a bit safer, and it works well if you only got one leg. So, Andy's here, okay, I'm keeping the leg closest to my head, okay, just one leg will do. Okay, let's shuffle back a little bit, okay. I'm keeping this, you can have a choke type grip, palm to palm grip, a butterfly grip, finger four grip, whatever you want. And as long as I can get myself close enough to his thigh here, and I can grab his heel, that's all I need to do. And I'm gonna pull that heel round, post my head on the floor here, and pull the heel round his head. Now for this demo, Andy's gonna body lock me, and he'll have to let that go at some point. So here, I grab his heel, he's got a strong body lock here, I'm just gonna pull this round, pull, 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 and his body lock's gone. Okay, so in real life, the way we do it, as soon as I feel his grip release, I'm going to throw my weight up. So, here, I grab, here, 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 and bang, here, straight up, passing to the side control. As soon as you feel his weight release, you shoot up. So, one more time, here, pull it in, here, grab, my head goes low, here, and as soon as he releases, it slides up here, my head comes with his butt, and if he goes all the way to his back, I'm going to immediately pass to the side controls. Okay? Gangster.